Question five is a words in context question. It's probably the most difficult out of this entire um, linear blue book test. And we're gonna start by looking at the four answer choices because all four of them are pretty difficult words. So we just want to make sure that we understand all of the answer choices really well. Answer choice A, demarcated from, means to be separated or distinguished from. So to be differentiated from something else, that's to be demarcated from. So you notice or you recognize that two things are different from each other. That's what that means. Answer choice B, reconstituted as, means to be rebuilt or restored as something else. So something old has been reconstituted, it's been changed around, or it's been rebuilt, or it's been restored um, to something new, something fresher, or something that's just fixed up. Answer choice C, conflated with, means to be combined with. So when two different things are combined together, they are uh, A is conflated with B, that means A and B have been combined together. Answer choice D, derived from, means that something is extracted or originates from something else. So A is derived from B, means A comes from B. So those are the four answer choices. So I'm going to go look at this passage. Now, something about this passage is that it's really dense. There's a lot of terminology and it's just kind of hard to get through. So I'm going to try to focus on just that sentence that has the blank first, right? As I, you might start reading it. And the first word is diadromous fish. And immediately you might go, okay, I have no idea what that means. And it just is kind of keep you, um, it's just going to make it more difficult for you to understand and get through the passage. So I'm going to just focus on the part with the blank. And the part with the blank says the migration's obligate nature, obligate means required or restricted to. So it's a must. So the migration is a must. Uh, is why diadromous fish can be blank those that are merely, merely uraline, which obviously, I guess it means able to tolerate high salinity. So tolerate means that they can deal with it, right? They can kind of, you know, it, they're, they're okay with it. But that's different from something being a must. You're required to do something is different from being um, able to tolerate something. Um, so if you want to think of this as like a required class versus an elective class, that's kind of what the difference of those two statements are. So what we're saying is that these diadromous fish who are obliged, who must make this migration, are different from these other fish that, that are uraline or just able to tolerate um, the salinity. So those two are different from each other. And the only answer choice that there that says that those two fish are different from each other is A, demarcated, um, demarcated from. So if I put answer choice A, demarcated from, it means that diadromous fish, we can separate or distinguish from, or we can differentiate from the uraline fish um, because the diadromous fish must um, do this migration. And because I know that I'm trying to say these two are different, I know that because of this obligate versus tolerate, I know that reconstituted um, and conflated and derived, remember they are all some sort of A is connected with B. Either they're, you know, one results from the other or they're, you're combining A and B. It's kind of putting these two groups together, all answer choices B, C, and D. So for that reason, the correct answer to this question is answer choice A.